the I mean, that's one way to go with a bang. Yeah. I like yeah. definitely, dude. <sighs> Welcome everybody. Yeah, we're live mm -hmm. and we're live. This is basically th this is like old school time frame. We yeah, have an incredible, early. talented guest here today. You probably might recognize it from my broadcast or from TikTok. Or that's right, it's Will Neff. That's me. Yeah, that's <laughs> Will Neff is here, everybody. Oh, oh fuck, we got. About, oh, oh, fuck. oh no, we got. So I'm, we got, I'm so glad that you're here, man. Oh, thank, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> we got. We got my co-host, BB No Money. You know, Turkey Armenian connection repaired. Yeah. Welcome to the conflict zone. That's what we're calling it now. The conflict? That's actually a good name for the podcast. Yeah, the conflict zone. Conflict zone. Um, What's anyway. your most uh, <laughs> inflammatory political take? Yeah. Um, we're, are we're we here. up so early because you're flying back to Canada? No, I just have like two sessions today. I got my music. Oh, okay. My, yeah. my, my, my mental health is drifting and I make music to keep it at bay. I respect the shit out of that. I'm yeah. the same way with the gym. When I, I, I'm I, low. Say, yeah. It, it, it is really, it's like super therapeutic for me. Yeah. I like, I think it's completely saved my life for sure. Mm. So, yeah. I, Baby your, no music, money. your music has given me a, a problem. I was talking about this oh, earlier, yeah. but Earworms. it's like, I wouldn't say it's like a mental health issue, but like, I can't Probably. stop thinking about lyrics from Do your, the lyric. your, Do from it your like hit. It. Do it. I'm a big bad hunter with the bow. <laughs> Every time I think about you, I'm like, oh, like, BB No Money's coming over. Like, what should we talk about? It's, it's, or like, you know, he's going to be here at 9 o'clock or 9.30 immediately. Like, <laughs> I can't think of anything else. It's just like, it just keeps repeating it over and over again in my mind until I'm going crazy. I want to like claw my eyes out. I mean, it's, it's not even, that's so, you know how you were making fun of me for saying bag yesterday? Yeah. It's bag. I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. Mm, oh. And it sounds like bad because I mumble everything, but it sounds like bad because you guys say bad. How do you guys say bad? What you've done to the English language is disgusting. Well, <laughs> you're welcome, everybody. <laughs> you, you, That's not how words are supposed to sound. Okay. He says bag. Big. Bag. And he says it so Thanks. proudly. He's Canadian. He's from Vancouver. He's a Vancouverite. Yeah. Well, Vancouver is the closest thing. Vancouver is the warmest place in Canada. Two, it's the closest pretty much to America. Like, doesn't like 75% of can Canadian population live like two hours away from the border? You know that? Um, yes, I have heard this. Yeah, it's like it's ridiculous. Be because it also happens to be the only habitable place. <laughs> yeah, the it's literally just like tundra. not. Yeah, it's not frozen yeah. tundra. So that's why <laughs> they live on the border of the United <laughs> States of America where it's like more livable. We like to think about those places as like, uh, you know, travel destinations for the winter for your for, to go there for like a little bit. Yeah. Not livable parts of America. There's definitely some real hardy ass people in Canada. Like when, the more north yeah. you go, they, they get they get tough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They why? Get, why are radically I... self reliant? Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, they're <laughs> they're living off the grid. Yeah, they get like uh, your fucking show that you were watching. Alone? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, isn't that what they do? They do it in yeah. Canada. No, they a... do it. Yes, they do it. <laughs> they literally yeah. do it in Canada. They do it on the coast, on the west coast. Wait, I think it is <laughs> what, what area is that? Is that Vancouver? No. Uh, so we, we go like whoa. It's whoa. Vancouver Island. Va oh, in Vancouver Island. Dude, that's not like that's bro. not alone, bro. Vancouver Island's like beautiful. Nah, dog. dog. Like a destination. Is, there's a show called Alone. Middle. Have you heard this show? I haven't heard of it. There's but it a sounds show like called it's alone. alone. I think it's on Discover Network. I, I think it's pound for pound the best network TV show. Yeah, ever. really. They just drop. Dude, it is okay. so disrespectful. First of all, <laughs> let me explain. It's this. insane. Let me explain <laughs> this. So this show started as like, a, are you an outdoorsman? Show us what an, like an outdoorsman you are. We're going to take you to the middle of ass fuck nowhere. Mm get to choose, I think it's like seven things on Canada. a list of 20 things that you get to take to survive, nothing else, and just show us how long you can survive for. And at first, the idea was, you just it's like it was an opportunity for nature like lovers to get into nature, but there was a cash prize, right? Classic. And then that cash prize- It's not a lot. Well, okay. the cash well, prize I mean kept ramping. Oh, and like then day they by day? changed it to you got to make it a hundred days. <laughs> what? But we don't tell <laughs> you how many other people are in the show still, so you don't even know if you're winning or not. Oh, and that's it's kind of just like toxic. It's mental. No. These people go 
crazy. It, it's, it's basically like they looked at the concept of like Tom Hanks Castaway, yeah. and they were like, let's not put him on a tropical yeah. island. Let's make this shit cold instead. Yeah. Let's make this Canada. They were like Survivor. Yeah. They were like, let's do Castaway Canada edition, okay? And and one of the most iconic They go crazy. They yeah. go crazy. They go like, like they, the they have no one to talk to. They iconic only have a camera. winners of all time is this guy named Sam. And Sam was on multiple seasons, did not win, but one season he won. He literally just planted himself and was like, I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna burn any calories. And he would just eat like a rat. Every fifth day, oh, this he is made great. it yeah. for this is, so. Long. How is this not no, more it, popular? It's, it's this incredible like TV. Amazing. It's it's on Netflix, so I think they picked up one of the seasons and then they DMCA Will, which is pretty yeah. funny. Retroactively <laughs> DMCA, yeah, because history Will was Channel watching made it, it nonstop. Yeah, yeah, Will was watching watching it nonstop, and then Netflix was like, "Yo, this show is sick. We're gonna pick this shit up." And yeah. then they DMCA him after they picked it up. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> feels so bad. But so, so where was TV. this in May, in, May, in Victoria Island, which doesn't it's sound your that backyard? Bad. Wait, look it up. Yeah, it doesn't sound that You're bad. You're on Billy Ray Brains. I think it's Vancouver Island, but I think well, it's like this ultra remote part. That's like the thing about like the it, Wanda Fuqua era. I don't know about that, but the thing about it that makes it so brutal is it's like all rocks. So like it, it makes yeah, it really hard nice. for anything to grow, and it's like it's like all inhospitable. They do it, yeah. Vancouver Island, British yeah. Columbia, Nahual, Haupi, Patagonia. National Park in Argentine, Brittle. Patagonia, Northern Mongolia. Bro, they're I eating love that, I love that man. Vancouver Island is getting a mention in Northern Mongolia, uh, Mongolia in the yeah. same conversation. <laughs> <laughs> That's how yeah, Vancouver Island. Canada, it, it's Canada wet is rugged, and cold, dog. <laughs> but it's not. It's not like that bad. It's like no, because you're from Canada. No, but you like, have no. You have no understanding to us. We live look look these yeah, these are houses. You live in California like yeah. this is like we live in houses Cal right we have shelter it's always seventy degrees <laughs> we have shelter yeah. you don't understand this you think like oh forest like that's where we go to get our bag and well, the you know the bag. security woman in my building last night told me she's like it's cold out and I said when I was about to walk my dog and I was like how cold is it. She's like, it's like 70 degrees. She's I was right. like, that's She's California right. cold. That's my woman right that's there. That's crazy. She's right. When it dips below 70, I'm fucking free. I got I got sleeves on today. Yeah, you are wearing a lot of clothing. I got sleeves yeah. on. I, I'm cold. Like, I straight up, I, I call it beanie season. It's beanie season all year for you. Yeah, it is. Um, But I call it beanie season when it starts getting like 65 degrees in the morning. Baby No Money, I want to plow forward. I want to know about Baby No Money. I want to know about what's going on in your head. One of the things I want to know. You're an artist. What's on your deep playlist that people don't know you're listening to? For me, that's Melissa Etheridge. Because okay. I'm the only one who'd walk along. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Give me something from there. Deep rotation. What are you listening to? Paramore. <laughs> I don't listen to Paramore. Par Paramore's fire, but I don't listen I to I only listen to the one song that was popping on TikTok. That's my deep playlist song. Uh, Recently, yeah. I've been like really like diving into like uh, like liquid drum and bass and... Like yes. The drum and bass. Yeah. Yes. I'm actually gonna make a drum and bass album next year. Bro, yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do. I want to do like jungle and like jump up, jump up, and like. Oh uh, my god. A bunch of like Belgian producers did made a bunch of remixes to my shit. You just flipped my nips, you dude. Just turned I, me right and, uh, on. So I saw. I met this guy called Brucey, e, and he's from U UK, yeah. and like Nottingham, and he he makes like you know it's like liquid and like jump up and shit. And I saw his live set, and it was insane. I've never seen more energy. So I was like, all right, bro, like it, it's happening. Let me let me do let me do vocals on it. Yeah, I do I, like I want to do fake vocals. Like, dude, wanna, uh, like wanna Grand Theft Auto, you know, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto drum and bass radio. Like, be, 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 be. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a I'll get I'll get like an interlude from you. What? Oh yeah, yeah. sure. Or something like that. Like, well, I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll include oh, you guys dude, on it. But yeah, I drum and bass. Ready. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of drum and bass recently. It's just it's so much like there's so much flow to it. You know, it's mm. so relaxing and like it has every type of genre where it's like it could be really hype or really chill and it's also incredibly intricate yeah. um but yeah i've been listening to a lot of brucey e, and like there's this uh singer from the uk she goes by piri p-i-r-i -I. she's kind of like pink panthers i like pink panthers a lot too she's dope um, i have absolutely zero under i just i know what drum and bass is as a concept i've never heard these people pink panthers mm -hmm. doesn't really make drum and bass does she well she, it's like it's like garage yeah yeah so uh garage. It's like what garage. inside it's outside garage. Um, Garage. 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 Yeah. 
Gosh. Uh, did you watch the documentary that Amazon did at the, like, the tail end of lockdown about um, UK's rave scene? No, I haven't, but it's, that's probably, it's, it's probably a lot of ketamine in it. So much, oh, yeah. but it's, it's incredible because <laughs> they talk about like every DJ who is in, you know, the acid house scene and like the original house scene where, where like kids were going and like mass migrating to warehouses. They, their, their first inclination was like, how long is this going to last? Like a month? And yeah. then like years later. Yeah, dude, that's incredible. Um, I, I love drum and bass. I love live drum and bass. One of my favorite performances of all time is I got to see Pendulum, if you've ever heard of yeah, them, yeah. which is like kind of like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's incredible, man. Yeah. You just flip my nips. All right. Next question. Moving on. Ready? Here you go. I'm gonna blow your mind. What? The door handle. <laughs> All right, guys, the door handle broke. So we're taking a two second, uh, ad break. And this is sponsored by Batman. Batman. <laughs> Please give us on a million dollars because he needs it. Yeah. Desperately, yeah. Uh, he he li- I, he called me this morning. He was like, "Damn, bro, I'm broke as hell. I need I need a million dollars from Batman." <laughs> this is my next question. <laughs> you have amazing Armenian hair. Why do you always wear a beanie? I don't have. Uh, I don't have amazing hair. You have amazing. I have hair. amazing hair because I don't wash it. Pop that top off. Let's. We take talked. A look. It's also this. super that wet and greasy right now. Amazing hair. We talked about this. Oh. Dude, you, your whites are coming in on yeah. the left side. In it's the crazy. same way that it's, it's coming in for me. It's crazy, right? Yeah. It's kind of sick. That's not from like the therapy gecko or this something? This is from stress. How old Yo. are you, BB? No money. 27. 27, you got whites coming in? I mean, I mean I, do you sleep well? Like, uh, genuinely. Not when I was 27. I think I sleep better now than I... Uh, is I, I got this biometrics tracker shit. Like, is it is it sick? I I don't I don't recommend it for anyone unless you're like an obsessive psycho like I am. He's yeah. laughing, but like, um, I I literally, I literally tracking my sleep. I track my sleep. I track my uh like daily you know caloric that, output. Do you think that's weird at all though? That like I can wake up and I go hmm. I feel good. I got some good sleep. Or, mm, I feel like shit. I got some bad sleep. You need to look at your phone. No, no, no. And I even can if tell. you feel like shit, you're like, you got two? Can I take one? Good. What? You I don't two. have two, unfortunately. I'll buy one. Send send this to me because I Dude, actually this really one don't... is This one is like not super expensive. Oh, shit. Oh. This one is not super expensive, but the problem is we it. One straw, so, uh, it, <laughs> we got to fight it out. Yeah. <laughs> Thunderdome, baby. <laughs> um, You want this, right? Yeah, unless you want it, you can take it. I can have like a, I'll have a sip or two, and then. Are you not a coffee guy? I am a coffee guy. I just like can't when I have too much coffee. It that's really the real it, creative juice. I know that's that's when I start having a nervous. We'll, we'll have the food and on down. the paywall side. Are you a Type A person? Type A, as in like very organized, meticulously kept. I like to think I am relatively organized. I keep a lot. I like. I don't. So. Let's say I have a to-do list mm-hmm. or I, every single day I wake up, I write exactly what I'm going to do that day. I always get done. Okay. That's type A. Wait, we were, we were but, talking, we were talking about, uh, sleep cycles. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Listen, listen. No, I know when I'm tired. I know when I'm, I know when I'm not tired, obviously. Like I'm not like well, a psych yeah, crazy. Yeah. Um, but what this ends up helping me with is mostly it ends up helping me recognize when I'm being super sedentary and what kind of impact it has on my like. Well, you stream ten hours a day, of course. Yeah. So when I do that, <laughs> no. So when I do that, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, dude, it, it, it is helpful. Uh, it is helpful Listen, in like I have a tracking. tracker. It helps me with calories. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I I'm fuck saying. With that. yeah. That's what I, do. I fuck with the heart rate. I mean, there's 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 a few fundamental things of quote being healthy, and like if you can just track half of them, fuck it, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Like like it's you are a healthy individual. I try to be. Yeah. yeah, I definitely was way less healthy back in the day than I am now. But because the older you get, the more your body starts breaking down. Like, That's true. When I was like 22, I didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I would drink like. I would drink a 30 rack and then have a pizza and then go do like, go lift weights in the gym mm, that's like crazy. at 6 a.m. After, yeah. that's after crazy. doing all of that, like I would have, I'd, I'd be running on two hours of sleep. And I did that for many, many years. And now I feel like um, if I work out the day prior, like if I have a very strong workout, I usually still work out and uh, wake up at 7 a.m. every morning. That's I can't. I slept through my alarm this morning. My body was like, nah, nope, we're going back to sleep. You're going to wake up like you go to eight. bed though? Uh, 1244 is exactly when I fell asleep. Jesus. Really? Oh, that it tells you. Yeah. 
That's the good stuff. That's kind of sick. Yeah. That's the good stuff. So so then you slept like eight hours. Do yeah. you sleep full all the way through? Or do you wake I'm, up at night? I'm fucking... I am like... Oh, you knock. I'm like an anime character when I sleep. Like, you know how like there's oh, some oh, characters oh, that just fucking yeah. go, yeah, me, 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 Like, and you can't do anything. You can't wake them up. That's me. That's probably because you exercise, though. Maybe, yeah. I, I, I found, like, I have way deeper sleeps when I'm, like, properly exercising on, like, a regimented regime. Yeah, but. I can't wait. He, he uh, has a degree in kinesiology. What's kinesiology? Uh, it's pretty much like intro level medicine where mm, yeah. you become like a health practitioner. Uh, movement. Yeah, movement. Yeah. Oh, a lot of, it's a like lot of PTs, biodynamics. Yeah. You have PTs and like Cairo. Nice. I was working at a chiropractic clinic like before I went. Wait, on really? On my first tour. Oh, I, I was like, my God, behind the paywall. Can you crack something in his body? I don't want to do that. Would yeah. you crack something in my body? Also, I Cairo's are bullshit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think so. My belief when I was working at a chiropractic clinic is my belief is, you know how you associate pops with like, oh, wow, that feels good. Yeah. yeah. Imagine just walking into a room, getting your, all of your shit popped where yeah. you can't do it yourself. And you're just like, well, shit, I just got, I'm just popped. high on, I'm high on life right now. Yeah. So then you want to go back. So it's literally just an addiction. That's mm. what, but there are like a few, but like those poppings are, are not necessarily relief either. Yeah, so didn't chiropractic? It's not. But they start with the. It's not even good. Actually. Maintain and massage of beef. Beef, like like cows, like cattle. I think yeah. that's where chiropractic started. Uh, I think it is a traditional Chinese practice. I don't know yeah. specifically, actually, but uh, it's fake though. There, there are there are like a few like anatomical movements that like will help. Like if yes. if you have like a slip rib that your things you that your physical therapist yes. will help things that your physical therapist will tell you to do stretches or exercises mm. that you need to exercises that you need to engage in if you have like pain because yeah. I'm a big I'm a major advocate for uh, well, we not pain avoidance but pain relief and I feel like in America especially given the way that big pharma works given the way that like our lobbying uh, structure works like. Americans love pain avoidance and they don't work on pain relief partially because pain relief is expensive and it takes time out of your day. If you're working, you can't go to the PT all the time. And a lot of the PT stuff is not covered by yeah. insurance. So it's a really fucked up system. But I, so I, I, I place a lot of emphasis on, on physical therapy and personal training in general, because, uh, you know, you, you, that's the only way to fucking fix shit. Chiropractors can engage in some of that, but a yeah. lot of that is just like, you know, bullshit. Holistic. Well, I mean, like well, my one, when I was working at these places, like everyone, it's interesting because like all the information's on online, like legit. Like if you, if you could like self-diagnose pretty relatively well for the majority of the time, and then you can look at a YouTube video of like five stretches and five like movements that will help you regain quote mm. mobility or strength in that general yeah. area in your body. You can do it. Dead but hands. the thing is no one fucking does it. Yeah, they I, expect they expect their practitioner to like do it for them and fix them, and it never fucking does anything. Because you, I, I saw so have many to do people, it at home. Yeah, you have to do it. Yeah, I mean, I used to be an athlete, so like I had my what sport did you play? I was a swimmer, so my shoulders are fucked, and I would always do my exercises. Hmm. And the only thing my my physical therapist, who was like the the main coach at uh, like University of British Columbia, he was like the main P PT there. He would always be like, "Don't come in if you haven't done it." I don't want to see you because I'm going to know if you haven't done it, you just won't be able, you won't be strong enough. Yeah. And you know, there was like a few, a few movements that like, that's all you had to do. And it was just like fix everything. Hmm. So it, it's cool. Cause I, I know a little bit about it and I know like the, the, you know, the, the need you got to, you got to do your stretches. And sometimes when my homies are like down, have you bad ever done cupping? what have you ever done cupping? Cupping's I don't really bullshit. believe in it that much. Have, have you know, IMS, what? Have you done intramuscular stimulation? Like oh, needling? Oh, the, the zapping? No, no, needling. Like like dry needling. Oh, I haven't dry done the, I haven't done the dry needling. <laughs> I've done cupping. I've done like chiropractor shit obviously, which I did. most of it was against my will. Yeah. Uh for the most part, like where you're like I don't want to offend these people. Like I'm on camera, sure, I'll do it. You know what I mean? And the guy's like, "I'm a chiropractor." I'm like, "Fuck, I thought you were per like <laughs> I thought you were a fucking physical therapist and <laughs> shit." Um but uh, I've done cupping. I have done, when I was doing uh, PT for my knee, I did a lot of electro, the 
the ten, is it called the Thames machine? Yeah, the Thames machine. machine. That shit works. That is actually That's really scientifically fucking proven good. to work. Like, yeah, it just increases like the blood flow in the region. Yeah, like which is um key. So that I've done. I've obviously done all the fucking you know PT work and stuff. Dude, trust me, I. I am a firm believer that IMS is like the most effective way to like fix really? your issues. They just like needle Dude, shit. So think of it this way: you Isn't know, it do, you, do you like do you like pick, you said you like picking scabs, right? Yeah. You're gonna love this shit, dude. Think wow. about picking a scab that has been building up for 15 years deep inside your body that you cannot touch. Dude, you are selling me on this. It is, dude. I, I it is the best. I've I've never done anything that is more effective for so pain is it relief. acupuncture. So they take the needle, the acupuncture needle, and they thread it through the muscle and the scar tissue. Oh, it hurts like a like a bitch. God. But it's like, dude, it's so good. Like I cry. I remember the first time I cried like horrendously. To be fair, I, I almost cry when I got a full body sports massage for the first time in my life. Oh, you're going to love dude. That sounds you think, you think, unspeakably. That sounds like something out of Hellraiser. It's amazing. We have such sights to show you. It's, that, it sounds like we're going to rehab your muscle. <laughs> so what they, and then what they do is when they, they thread it, they thread it, they thread it. So they like break the scar tissue. So obviously what happens is your brain is like, oh, I'm going to send a ton of blood and a ton of nutrients to this place because I got to. And then they grab like a, an electrode and they put it on the needle and they just reset the nerve. So what is that Re- reset? I'm not a fucking Game Boy cartridge. So, so uh-huh. neurons in the general vicinity of like where you might have pain might be blocked because of the scar tissue. So, and if, if it's sending more signals to that area, they're going to be like, oh shit, we got to really repair this area. What the fuck? Is this new? What the fuck? No, man. It's, it's being, it's like a, I think it's an ancient German practice. Uh, (laughs) No, it's not new. It's just no one wants to get a fucking lightning rod stuck in their muscle. Everyone wants it. Everyone wants it. There's certain types of pain. Everyone wants it? Dog. You have been blessed to not have like genuinely fucking life altering injuries. I could totally see. Bro, that. I have no ACL or MCL Dude. on my right side. Okay, that, but wait, what? That's yeah. crazy. Wait, how do you fucking do, you, do how, cuts? How do you walk? How I'm do ju- you? I'm do? just different. There's no shot. Respect. We yeah. play basketball. Yeah. Did you have full reconstruction or was Nothing. it like? Nothing. You you know you know you're like when you don't have those two or like when you tear them like you you're actually like open you can go get reconstruction th- th- yeah. surgery on that i'm good that's insane yeah. i mean i'm i'm insane as well like i when i when i destroyed my kneecap when i um um what do you what the fuck what do you say what's the word side is no my patellar uh, like dislocated okay yeah. uh when i did that um the uh fuck i'm literally forgetting words right now i don't know what's happening it's way too early anyway I basically had a ping pong sized piece, like the cartilage ripped off a piece of the bone. Ooh. So I had a ping pong sized bone inside of my knee for like many, many years, for like three, four years. And I worked out with it. I hit all my PRs with it. I was in my best shape of my life with it. And then one day when I was playing basketball, that shit got stuck under my knee and it locked my knee. Like it could, I couldn't move my knee. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I like I would have to wiggle it. I literally, do you remember? Wiggler. Do you, I don't know if you remember this. Like I would literally take the bone from inside of my knee and move it around and like shift it back <sighs> into position so it didn't get in the way. So I did that for many, many years. I'm a freak. But having said that, I totally understand how someone would uh do that level of of um therapy to be able to like uh, you know, finally get rid of something that's been haunting them for the rest Dude, of their it, lives. At, at this point, like whenever I get off a long tour, like I, I go get this treatment. What hurts? Where, where do you have pain? Dude, my, my whole body is just mangled. Like I have like constant neck pain, constant like trap pain. That's interesting. Like QL, my QL is just ruined yeah, on same. my right side all the fucking same. time. Uh, okay. I have really bad knees. But then you know what it is. Well, if your QL is ruined on your right side every single time, that means it's either your hip flexors or it's your your legs. Yeah. Well, so I'm always stretching my quads, and it's, yeah. you know it's a puller system, like a lever system, right? The whole body. Yeah. Um. But dude, trust me. If you, I'm I'm surprised you've never had this shit. I, every single person that I've ever played like rugby with or like 
like high end, Maybe like some Canadian. Shit. Played rugby. Yeah, I so I played rugby and I broke Let's my go, back. Oh, dude, that was like yeah. I used to be a competitive swimmer. And my dad was like, "Don't play rugby," and I wanted to be the boy Watch with out. the boys. Yeah. And I was lifting a ton of weights, and then rugby, I played rugby I and I broke my back. Playing rugby more than <clears throat> anything else in my life. Rugby is brutal. Amazing sport. Why don't? You, what do you do the strenuous during tour though? Like mu- muscle wise. Oh, like, dude, I'm like bags? I'm like jumping like a ton. You're jumping a ton. It, it it's. It's it's wear and tear for sure. Um, I try to be like, you know, the more energized you are on stage, the more energized the crowd will be. They're, they're yeah. like, it's a d- direct reciprocation of yeah. how much energy you have. Um, so I try to go as crazy as I can. And, you know, I got like flat feet. So I have arch oh, supports. that's not and good. I have to wear like runners or else my knees blow out because I used to be like a fixed gear cyclist. And I, I, yeah, I used to be like the hippiest of stirs, Dude, you know? you are such a fucking hipster. <laughs> when you said drum and bass, I immediately, I pictured you like with dreads. I okay, see okay, you. okay, okay. It's not that far. I this can is, see you This with is dreads. more like the ketamine, the ketamine and like bro drum and bass rather than the, yeah. Yeah, no cultural appropriation. Are you bro. big on ketamine? Uh, I did it recently. Okay. Did you like it? It was interesting because usually, holy shit. Okay, well, that segues. I got to check my phone because I got like 90 <laughs> vibrations. I don't, something must be happening here. Let's explode. Holy it's so God. weird because it's only Will that this happens to. I mean, uh, it's, it's so it, crazy. It do be like that. And the wild part is like, he'll be sitting there and that one explodes. He'll be sitting here and this one explodes. It's so strange. <laughs> It must be. <laughs> I don't know what it's for, though. Well, good job, man. Hey, I gave us a break. But yeah, kidding me? It's interesting, man. I, uh, I, it's not something I would do all the time, but the one thing I, I, I actually liked about it is there was like no negative side effect. Usually, like, you do a drug and you're worn, but like, I was. I like didn't even sleep that night, and I, I got on a plane the next morning, and I was like in a giddy feeling mood. Good, yeah. I was like feeling good, and I know that there's like tons and tons and tons of research going into uh, ketamine therapy right now. Oh yeah, I I actually have a friend that did it and said that like her life completely changed. Uh, ketamine uh, yeah. and psilocybin are the big ones right now that everybody's. I'm I'm glad that people are moving more towards like a you know more utilizing drugs in. Just just hold it. Just hold it. It's hard. Man, the mosquitoes here this year in LA have been insane. Have you guys mosquitoes. noticed Mosquitoes. What else do you call them? No, I'm just saying I, I haven't had much, if any, experience. I have been bitten alive since I've been here. Really? Yeah, like brutally. You're from What's wrong? Vancouver. I what, feel like you have big time it? mosquitoes up there. No, no, they're not that bad in Vancouver. Because we're, we're right on the coast, so it gets kind of blown away. But, yeah. I, I just won't touch it. Yeah, just, just, you're definitely you're going to. Not, you're not going to touch it. You're going to yank it like you always do. Coming out real hard, real strong. Really? Yeah, it's kind of dope. Okay. All right. Be good. This, this looks dangerous. Uh, empty anyway. But his cousin danger. Okay. Um, that should it. be fine for now. Yeah, just don't like move this base. Um, fuck. What were we talking about? Oh, ketamine therapy. Ketamine therapy. Yeah. Um, that's what I heard from. I mean, well, I had an ex who was doing ketamine therapy. Don't know if it worked, but, <laughs> um, but other than that, I remember like I was, uh, hooking up with this like esthetician, like beautician or whatever. And she said like all the doctors love doing ket cause like, I guess it's hard to overdose on it or something. I feel like we're talking about some really dangerous concepts right now without doing enough, and enough research. Marsh, you tell us. Marsh. No, Marsh, I, you do ketamine, right? No, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you don't have to be an expert to talk about something. You can, you know what I mean? Like, it's as called as the Joe like, Rogan experience. do ketamine. Yeah, it's not, I'm definitely not Rogan saying experience. do ketamine. No. I, I just said, like, my experience yeah. was not negative, and I don't Listen. feel... Like, all, we, all we can say is eyeball test ketamine stock on the rise. Okay? Definitely, definitely on the rise. <laughs> ketamine, it's been on the rise for a minute. Yeah. I just, I've never been a downer guy. I'm always an upper guy. I totally, I totally agree. I like, I, I way downers. prefer uppers, but 
I suffer alcohol, which operates like an upper for me. Anyway. Is it okay? Wait, can well, we can we demyth this? Is tequila an actual upper? Yeah, we can look <laughs> on the internet, but I think because it's agave. Yeah, because it's cactus. Yeah, it's a stimulant. Yeah, or it's a narcotic. <laughs> it stims you up. Here we go. Myth seven. It would be surprising if it was actually like unique. Um, <laughs> well, it definitely makes you feel unique. <laughs> yeah. yeah enough dude like a, a what i used to do back when i was in like the rugby era before i broke my back i would do like pre-workout yes. chase with tequila and that shit ends all really? my clothing yeah. is off it's called dude. being 20 years old <laughs> Pre- pre-workout and booze was a was it was a movie. magical combination yeah. i used to buy something called carlo rossi which was like a jug a very cheap Italian wine. And I would oh, sling okay. It back. Uh, but I would I would drink like half of it, and then my friends would put raspberry champagne, Everclear, and fucking oh. pre workout in it, and, and we would yank that around. And yes, there you go. That's oh, a Carlo Rossi. No. Bro, there's Jug no way. There. We are so we are so nasty with the shit that we do to our bodies. Dude, we would get absolutely. Mangled, livid. <laughs> you ever tried Jack 3D? Greatest pre workout, yeah, of yeah, all time. yeah, yeah. Greatest yeah. pre workout of all time. They discontinued it, may or may not have had steroids in it. That's, That's fine. Awesome. No wonder steroids. I got so fucking dude. I was so brawlic on Jack yet. 3D. I yeah. was like, Bleh. my face would get like my face would have like pins and pricks, yeah, when I took well, that, it. That's beta like, alanine, yeah. I used that, to, I used to take beta alanine when I would like cycle and do a lot of cardio because oh it like God. you're like a triathlete. You. Dude, I was like really, really into just exercising. Yeah. I, I, what happened? <laughs> dude, <laughs> I, I fell off, bro. That's what happened. Yeah, uh, I'm just messing with if you. I, the thing that's sick is like, you know, hypothetically in a world, if if Creator Clash is like, yo, fight gravy, dude. And if, if I, you think I, you think you could rock gravy shit? He's so much taller. I, it doesn't matter, bro. When I, the thing is, is I'm an athlete. Matt. Not an athlete. Cut this promo right I now. Like Cut this we promo can make it right happen. now. I mean, we down. can make it, but like he 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 fights people. He he takes pride. He like he's always like you know I'm gonna fight this guy. He, Wait, really? He, yeah, like he he's beating people up. You want to fight Addison Ray's dad though? Yeah, but okay, well, he would probably get his ass beat by Addison Ray's dad. Okay, that guy too. was like that guy was doing tons. Seems like he coked out. Yeah. Well, what is it? I, when did Gravy fight Addison? What the fuck, bro? Oh, you you're, you're missed you man. missed a whole month. You, or two. you are you were unaware of the TikTok shit that's popping off. Hell yeah, young I was gravy, unaware of that young, TikTok Here, shit. I'll give you the short and sweet of it. Okay, I'll give the you the fuck? skinny. Young gravy, <laughs> okay, I'm known as like TikTok. a desi- young gravy, known as a designated milf hunter. All of a sudden, doesn't look as Amish as he once did because he starts growing a mustache. Ladies love that shit. He's mm. the he's the big milf hunter on TikTok. Boom, young gravy. Uh, has this like girl in Hoboken or something that he's hooking up with. Addison Ray's father is like a TikToker now. So is Addison Ray's mother. Addison Ray's father hangs out with the girl that Young Gravy was supposed to be hanging out with. There's a little bit of drama. I think you can fix that part if I'm saying something wrong about it. Then Young Gravy hooks up with Addison Ray's mom, takes Addison Ray's mom to the fucking red carpet for one of these award shows that TikTokers go to. Tight. Okay. Addison Ray's dad is like, hey, what are you doing? I'm from fucking New Jersey. How you doing over here? I'm going to fuck you up, motherfucker. He's the most, like, I think he's he's Hispanic, but, like, he's the most Italian Mexican person you've ever met in your entire life. Anyway, so he's, like, he's like you know, uh, being Uncle Polly uh, Guido over here trying to fuck uh, Young Gravy up. Young Gravy says, nah, dog, I'm fucking your wife instead. Boom. That's it. That's the end of the story. That's pretty good. I mean, it it, it was interesting because I was just like, you know, Matt always has a lot of things that just like happen to him. And I was like, dude, you can't make this shit up. Like, you just can't. Like, that did shit. Did I do a good, did, did it, was it, that you, story? You hit a, I don't know how like necessarily good. like they reached to the, you know, the, the epicenter of let's get together type thing. I don't know where that came from, really. But Young like, Gravy's uh, not Young Gravy. Sorry, Addison Ray's mom was like straight up throwing daggers at Young Gravy. She was like, she did the Martha Stewart, like where she had like nothing underneath her fucking. I mean, she's hot. Like Addison Ray's mom, sexy. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Absolutely. Fucking hot. I find it. I just find it interesting that like, dude, I was just watching all of this unfold, and I was like, bro, you can't make yeah. this shit up. And then like the yeah the Monty video, I was like, bro, this is. How how is someone of of like past fifty years of age, like behaving this way? Behaving, this, I was Clout. like, 
surely it breaks people surely brain. but like yeah. dude i was like this is bad it like, got to his head this is bad for society this should not yeah. be happening but it got to his head in a really bad way where he started behaving uh, like a 12 year old yeah it's uh it's it's not good <laughs> not good at all okay um we uh on the on the paywall portion of this broadcast we're gonna we're gonna you know give some we're gonna put something in your mouth that you're gonna like. Oh, I, nice. I, don't worry. I, I you, you got to trust me on this. Sure. You, I, I've put I put things in your mouth that you've enjoyed so There's far. There's been a lot. <laughs> yeah. Hey. He's a big he's a big foodie guy. Ooh. I want to I want to introduce you to one of my favorite. Um, so I, I got a question. What? Do you think that right now there's gonna be a rush on Yeezys? And in ten years, Yeezys are gonna be like unopened Pokemon booster packs, like. If you can get a pair of those mint Yeezys, it's almost I like Nazi not. gold. You know what I mean? It's like a <laughs> <laughs> when was there a rush on Nazi? I hope not. I yeah, Nazi commemorables. People go crazy for that shit on the internet. <laughs> you know this. You know people are collecting all that shit. Not me. I feel but like people. I, I feel like didn't didn't Kanye get kind of like dropped by Yeezy a little bit? Dude, it's yeah. done. Two hundred fifty yeah. million dollars blipped out Adidas, of existence. Adidas just dropped them as a yeah. Well, I mean, and then in that case, then I don't know. Maybe it'll be like this is the era of when he completely lost his mind. So yeah, it's like, like let's yeah. buy that the era the lost mind shoe. We already well, these have, might be the last shoes. We already have mm. something to point to with yes. respect to this. It's the Red Octobers. Mm. Nike Red Octobers are the only time that Kanye was ever, has ever collaborated with Nike, and those no shoes shit, are like expensive. fucking thirteen grand. That's literally can, oh, they're more like the red super boots, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is like yeah. So. They're thirteen grand. It's yeah, more they're than crazy. That. They're crazy. Are you are you guys shoe are you guys shoeies? A little Imaso bit. Also, Mano in college I was, and then all they're my shoes not got really that dope. Would you wear those as on? No, no. But in two thousand and eight. <laughs> Yeah, they, that, was that, that, that shit is a movie. The glasses with the slats, yeah, with the, with the hater shades, the Come stunner on. shades. <laughs> yeah, um, it says two hundred thirty thousand. Yeah. Uh, so do you do you guys think he's gonna be able to make shoes somewhere else? Or I'm a firm believer that no matter how anti-Semitic you get, if you're fucking pumping out that good shit, people are gonna always work with you. But is he pumping you can kill, out? That? You can kill people and still like get away with it if you're fucking. Yeah. If, if you can run a, you know, if you can run the forty or whatever. I do think like the fundamental of Kanye is kind of no longer as prominent because his music, like the Dondo, was not that good. Thank you. That is exactly my point. You, Dondo, you never get canceled. You just your output is well, the, what I is think. Like the last three important. albums were kind of oof. The yeah. one from fucking. Uh, what but the thing is, yeah. is like we are also like if you look at Donda and you're like, if Baby No Money made Donda and he dropped that shit, he would be ginormous. You know what I mean? Like so, you're looking with like the the precursor, yes. the thought of like, oh, this guy might be like one of the best musical. Yes, because artists. right now you're yeah. like, right now you're like un. You are unrecognized Ricky Rubio in the Spanish league, okay? <laughs> uh, and and like, of course, we're not expecting LeBron output from you. Yeah, but like, uh, yeah, we're we're weighing Kanye on the LeBron level of music. Yeah, and if LeBron is not getting triple doubles, and all of a sudden he has a game where like they're getting fucking owned, and he's dropping you know ten yeah. points yeah, max. You go back you're and like, you that's to, crazy. You listen to Dark Twisted Fantasy, and you're like, damn. Yeah, I, yeah. I just re-listened to that shit it's like unreal. like a month ago, and unreal. I was like, damn, man, Every like song. my music sucks balls. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, like, but Donda is still great. It's, it's good, a great if, album. If he just cut some of the mid tracks, it would have been it would have been a classic in my opinion. So does Kanye? ever come back from this can kanye rectify his situation or yes. is he forever a maniac 100 percent. i i do th well it's interesting because he is like a type of guy that like dude he's culture like it's it's fucked like anything he does immediately becomes like what yeah. is popular and now we're moving on to like <laughs> a very dark era of culture that was kind of culture in 1938 yeah, yeah. anti-semitism yeah. yeah and it's like <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, did you see the people on the overpass? Oh, I saw that. The sign yeah. that just said Kanye is right about the Jews. Yeah, like, aside from you know, anti-Semitism aside, obviously, and like what that <laughs> means, 
He, these are some of the biggest like dweeb lords that he's like hyping up. You know what I mean? He's yeah. like, yeah, these guys are so sick. And it's like a dude with a fucking Kekistan flag who's like, I'm a groiper. It's like, bro, you're a 35 year old who's still living with their parents and you don't have a job. Shut the fuck up. You are not the superior race. You are not the master race. You're hanging on by a thread. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a counterpoint. I, I think Kanye is done. And not just on Twitch. No, I actually think Kanye uh-huh. is done. I think Kanye is done. Uh, oh, wait. I, think, I, I, I forgot that. I don't I forgot think he's mention. making music. I, I think forgot he, yeah, yeah. I think his stands will forever, whatever he does, they'll still be like, Yeah, oh, they'll 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 but, he graduation he he made graduation away everything. Right. And, and I, I think I think even some of his hardline stands though have had to like reevaluate their relationship with yeah. him as a creator. And I don't know, man, I think listening to the, the one portion of his incoherent rantings that really made me realize the dude is just like a, a paranoid schizophrenic is when he was talking about like a, a femur to a dinosaur or he was like, oh. ta- he was talking about like the George Floyd situation and basically was like trying to insinuate that George Floyd was like a plant or yeah. something. He, he said that multiple times, yeah. which is like deeply just I, at its core, the most anti-black you can I, get. I just don't know how anyone can still justify. What, what like, do you think his reasoning is behind this? Is it just because he's, he's just crazy. like, I've known, wants I've known attention. That, I, I talked about this a little bit. I've known about this since 2018 where like he was having significant episodes and attacks. Uh, I had a friend who was on a trip, who was on a trip with him in Uganda where that's the first time I ever heard about him talking about black Israelite stuff and like being openly and deeply anti-Semitic. I think he fired like his entire security detail there too. He was, he had a massive attack there. Um, Mm. I think that it's a combination of his, insane narcissism his massive ego and his you know manic episodes where he has no one to check him like he has no one to check him he has a god complex he has no one to check him he's pushed everyone uh, aside that has like ever been in his life for a very long time that that could be like yo yeah you gotta chill you're fucking going crazy right to like level to reason with them to like anchor him to bring him uh you know down to reality so in those manic episodes, I think he has like found black Israelite uh, theories and has Candace genuinely Owens. believed it. And Candace Owens also uh, is uh, another person he linked up with that like gave him the anti-black proportion of everything that's going on. Because Candace Owens has like a really unique take. Uh, but I mean, K- Kanye West is basically like advocating for a weird anti-black, black supremacist attitude, which is strange you know what i mean he's got pieces of candace owens and then he's got pieces of like supreme court justice clarence thomas in there (laughs) no seriously like clarence thomas i think is probably the closest to kanye west yeah with respect to current kanye west ideology not that uh, clarence thomas is a is a black hebrew israelite um he's not but he is like a very anti-black black black separationist kind of baby no money i have a hypothetical question for Mm. you you are locked in a padded room and you have to smoke crack with either Kanye West or Ezra Miller and survive the next 24 hours. Kanye West. Who do you choose? I mean, definitely Kanye West. Yeah. Like Ezra's one, coming at you before the crack, right? Ezra's probably going to bite he's you. The, he's the flash, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 They. Dude. They, they, they uh, the Yeah, flash. my apologies. Uh, so, yeah, my fucking... Uh, there was like a weird uh, GoFundMe for me to replace Ezra Miller now, <laughs> as the cool. Flash. I am bro, okay you, with you. You better not even out. mention that they're coming for you, motherfucker. <laughs> they're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, you want to be the Flash?" Before you know it, you wake up one yeah. night. They're literally <laughs> with the talons. They're standing. They're perched up on your fucking bed, like. <sighs> yeah, Ezra Miller is just slowly becoming the Babadook. Yeah, yeah, definitely Kanye. Also, like if we're on crack, like. He's all, all like he's already saying crazy shit. Like we can just say crazy shit together. You, you just power up. <laughs> I like you as the Flash. I like you as Barry Allen. I'd be down. How did that, that sounds like a, a bag? I sounds like a bag. Yeah, big uh, bag. How did you that, gotta you gotta fix that before you become the Flash? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody letting you fucking be be the Flash <laughs> if you're gonna say that. Ah, what's Whoa. up with the big? <laughs> Where's the bag? I'm the Flash. Um, I would. I don't know. I how how did that come to? Yeah. How did you get associated with being Barry Allen? I have no idea. 
Just listen, I saw some like tweet and like there were people actually voting and trying to go fund this project hypothetical. And I was I like, like it. it was me. You know, well, God I was bless. the one. I was you know, in reality, it sounds like it sounds like a lot of money. So I yeah. would love to do it. Yeah. Respect. Respect. You get the what money. What hero <laughs> would you play if you could play a hero? If I could play a hero, what hero would I play? I mean, dude. I am the exact opposite of this person, but like I grew up with a major affinity for Wolverine. Charles Xavier. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> Charles yeah. Xavier. Yeah, that's hilarious. You can't be saying that. You've been taking Propecia since uh, eighth grade, yeah. motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> you, you said gotta... the exact opposite. I was trying to think oh. of the exact opposite. <laughs> no, was. Wolverine, because like okay. I'm just as hairy, but like he's supposed to be like a little guy, right? Yeah, he's supposed to kind of be. Well, he's yeah. a Canadian. He yeah. is. Is he? Yeah. 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 Hugh Jackman. Yeah. No, 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 no. Wolverine. Hugh Jackman is Australian. Wolverine, the <laughs> character is. Yeah. Oh, it's just like yeah. it's a Canadian. There's like a Canadian Avengers called X Force. I think that he basically fronts. Oh, yeah, interesting. I did not know that. It's I, him, I, a guy I, named Puck. I've Someone read. Puck? I've read. Puck. Uh, yeah, and his enemy Sabretooth, I think, also might be Canadian. Gotta as well. be. Gotta be a, a northerner. Yeah, from the frozen. Uh, but North. Wolverine is. Like, I read the OG Wolverine comics where he goes to, like, Japan. He, like, travels the yes. world. And he's, like... Lady Deathstrike. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. just, like, Sick. fucking... He's just, like, fucking dudes up. He's, like, killing Yakuza members and shit. Like, as a, as a kid, I was like, dude, that'd be so sick if I had, like, supernatural healing. Yeah. Are and, you a nerd at all? Do you... Oh, dude, yeah. I, I mean, I... I'm less like Marvel DC world. I'm more just like I played a shit ton of Blizzard games. I gr I grew up so mm. I, my first Are you video Diablo game ever, guy. I played Diablo one when I was like four, and then I played Diablo two, mm. and I I was goaded at Diablo two. Like okay. I played I played he hours. And then guy. Are you ready for four? Dude, I'm, used. I'm pumped. I am definitely. I so I usually tell my agent, I'm like, yo, like I need time off. Yeah, like I, I, I can't. I need to be at home. Like it's like it's like <laughs> it's in my blood. Like, have you seen my website? Yo, pull my website up real yeah, quick. Yeah, his website. Billy, is, can you pull that website up? Just please? type in bbno and -E while -E while he's pulling up the website, I'll give you his nerd creds. Like, first of all, he's a soda pop and viewer. Like, he was a Twitch oh, viewer yeah. for a very long time. Look at this. Look and he's a, wow. Oh, you got the Diablo fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're raiding together. You and I, dude, when it comes it. out, let's hit it hard. Did you play the Diablo 2 remake? Yeah, obviously. So I, I played it because I had, so my girlfriend at the time, we were, we were, this was my last day before tour. I was about to go on tour. And I was like, look, I'm not talking to you this day. I have to play Diablo. Like I, <laughs> that's yeah. why, that's why she's her ex now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. She was like, this is the final draw. Uh, but, but yeah, it was like. It, it was super fun. I, on tour, I leveled up every single class to like 80 yeah. single player by myself. So I, Diablo one was like the game that got me into gaming. Yeah. hundred percent. And I will never forget. Like I'd never played a game like that. You ever right? dupe, dupe in it? Yo, <laughs> picking up one item while juggling. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but just walking into that room and having the butcher come out and be like, fresh meat. Dude. I was like, yeah! It was so terrifying back yeah. then. I was legitimately like four years old when yeah. I was playing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, gaming, gaming, I don't think is as like good as it used to be. No. In my opinion, Diablo 2 is actually, dude, it won best year or best game, best game of the year, two years in a row. It's so good. That's how good that game was back then. Like well, it was so it ahead of its Lord time. Lord of Destruction? No, it won for the original. It won like in two, 2009, uh, 1999, it won Diablo, and then Lord of Destruction came out in like two, uh, 2001. He's such a nerd that the people that he reached out when he came out with La La La, which you've heard. Yes. Oh, um, yeah. Well, one of the people he reached out was S Fan. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he DM'd S Fan on Instagram. I'm a, I'm a wild frog. So I've put like years yeah. of time. Mm, another okay. person that he reached out, which we found out, was Pokemon. <laughs> wow. And uh, when I heard this, I was like, well, Iman is a good friend of mine. I'm going to put you on blast. So he showed us the DM. Um, we can, I can, I mean, show it to you here. The, I you thought want. the Riz was a little bit Rizier. Yeah. Where I, I guess I did, I guess I did delete it. So I sent out a message to a bunch of like Twitch streamers and content creators <laughs> and being like, did you give her the nectar? Did you try and like slide? No, 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 no. Lightly. A little <laughs> bit. But he, oh, he slid. <laughs> he slid. But sometimes you slide and you, you go a little she, too she far. DM'd she DM'd me yesterday. She DM'd me yesterday. I sent, I sent a selfie with the, uh, you know, uh, yeah, a little bit. No, he did that. He went. Hey, gamer. <laughs> yeah, check out this loot. <laughs> uh, 
But I mean, trying to do some rates. <laughs> yeah. Look, I mean, I'll make do with what I got, I guess. Um, but <laughs> maximum yeah, maximum nectar. Yeah, the ma- maximum we're, nectar. She's our good friend. That's why we're we're not like ripping on you. It's no, just, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Um, but he he said, "Hey, gamer," and then he sent <laughs> the the same thing that he had sent to everyone, which was like, "Hey, you know." I have a song coming out called La La La. I think it's going to pop off. You can play it without no copyright. You know what I mean? That yeah. sort of thing. He took the, he unsent that. But uh, I, I told, I, I sent it to her. I was like, this is what he said. You fucking left him on red, but now you guys are friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big it's, fan. it's just weird that you didn't send it to either of us. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, and I know, <laughs> and I know your co-producer. He didn't even send it. It's messed up. Yeah. Well, well, look, guys. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, could. you could try and riz me up next time. Yeah. Hey, I will. Yeah. Give us the give us the the glizzy shine. coming out. Dude. Yeah. I mean, next time I think I got a hit, I'll send it to you guys and yeah. see what happens now. Yeah. So fuck yeah. Yeah. I mean, good thing you didn't hit us up because that shit popped off. If you hit us up, maybe it wouldn't have. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. I, yeah. I remember I was just like, I have to do literally everything. I would spend like 12 hours a day, like coming up with ideas of how to get this song more popping. Did you feel like you had a hit on your hands when La 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 came out? So the moment we made the hook, like when I popped off into the, I saw my race it go like, I remember Ari, we were sitting there and we were like, this is really good. Like, like this is really good. So you felt it. There was like a different feeling that you had. Yeah, I've never... That you didn't and feel... And then when I would perform felt- that song live before it was released, every single person by the second hook knew the hook. Every yeah. single person. And I was like, that doesn't happen. Uh, so when we made the song, we were like, yeah, this song is really fucking good. You're in the pocket. That's what like... That, that's a, it's a real... I really hit that pocket. You pured it. I, yeah. Yeah. No, it, there there is something that like... Um, it's like is, an unspoken. Is, it's like unspoken riz. Yeah, when you yeah. hit a song, you know, it's like it's mm. impossible to like exactly identify it in a in a you know mathematic calculation. But when you're there, you know it, and I think this works for every art, like every every facet of the arts. Like you can, you can even have it in streaming when you're like really fucking. You have good yeah. back and forth banter with your chat, or you have like. You're making content and you're feeling like, God damn, this is really good. Obviously, it's a much it's, smaller it, scale than it's what you're... Void. It's yeah. like when you just yeah. click. When you, yeah, when you just black out and you're performing in the perfect way possible. And I think it happens... Where did with, this sample come from? It's not a sample. Ari played it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember I was like, yo, just riff on like a Spanish guitar. And then he was riffing on his keyboard. And then he found a melody. I was like, yo, that's fire. And then I went... went up, 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 up. And then he was like, that's fire. And then That's it. I was like, yo, we should just say something super dumb. Like I shine my wrist to go like sha sha sha, which makes no fucking sense. And yeah, then I was like, ad-libs we just are, ad-libs like that are well, key. it's kind of like I think I always say this and I always explain this. It's like, you know, Kumbaya, my lord. Everyone yeah. knows that song. Yeah. What does yeah. it mean? Don't know. Exactly. So Wait, what does that mean? I think it means like 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 Hakuna uh, family, Matana. it's like family. I think. I think. I don't. <laughs> what I don't. The fuck? Wait, can, you, can you Google that? I, really? I, I really need to check my phone. I have never gotten this many texts in my life. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's literally just my dad. What does Kumbaya? He's like, do not hang out with that Turkish motherfucker. He's a butcher. <laughs> 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 like you went to that Turk's house twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Harmony and unity. God okay, bless. There it is. That's so um, harmony and you. So like. If the whole world can say the same shit through different, you know, it can like transgress through different cultures because it's, I'm not saying anything and it's yeah. just yeah. like, it's like a sound. Then that's how, that's how hits are made. Yeah. Have you felt that since? I, this is kind of a tough question to answer. Oh, what do you mean? Have you felt like that you were in the pocket since? Like, I mean, Edamame was definitely a pocket. Yeah. I remember when I made that song, I was like, okay, this sounds, this song, like, I love it that flows moment. super well. And, you know, you can listen to some of my music and, like, some of it, some of it's good. Like, some of it's good, but there's imperfections on it. And, like, La La, perfect song. Perfect song. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that song. Um, Edamame, nothing wrong with that song. And you can tell. Yeah. Like, how did you, how did you feel, like, what was the first moment that you recognized, like, oh, shit, this is going fucking viral? Uh, with what, which song? With La La La. 
So we, what we did was, this was the first time I ever, like, I actually marketed before the song came out. Oh, okay. This was, this was so, like, all my fan base was like, oh, he's, like, posting about this shit. So clearly it, like, tapped my fan base enough. But at the time, your fan base was marginal, I assume. I had, like, 100,000 followers on Instagram. Okay. This was right off, like, Nursery was kind of going on TikTok to this weird, like, dance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, you're right. So you this is, like... play that for a second? This is, like, a, the first little... I dropped a project called Recess. I, yeah, and, Nursery, I remember. It, yeah. it, 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 you, you tied that perfectly, actually. It was, like... Yeah. And then I, I, I dropped... Nursery? So Gravy dropped his album that was, like, notable as his best album. No. No, he's no, independent, no, no. bro. Yeah, this is independent. You're good. His entire all all la la la. We probably Are you gonna clap us for this. For. That nah. would be a, that'd be a ruthless. Yeah, that'd be fire. Let's that'd be a get ruthless clapped. business decision. Yeah. So this song. So right around like one minute and thirty seven seconds, uh, this song had like this weird little audio that it goes to like double time. This music video is great. I think it's yeah, one minute thirty or some shit. Yeah. So this was like the one song I didn't want to include on the album. It's Why? just how it works. Because I was like, it's just me spitting too much. So right here, it went. Yeah, I remember this. And yeah. this was like the first time that I like implemented like a house it goes. element. It goes, it goes. This song is incredibly hard to perform live. I run out of breath like the whole song. It's crazy. I'm just wrapping my ass off. Uh... So, so when this, this was going on TikTok, another song called Who That Boy was kind of going on TikTok. And I was just like, oh shit, like I actually have a career. I remember my like, my like distribution would send me checks and stuff and they would like it, it, it took a massive leap after, yeah. I, after I dropped this album. And then, you know, it's still to this day, like people, people look at that album as my best album. And it, it's pretty fucking annoying, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it, that's just you'll happening. never be as good as your old shit. Exactly, exactly. But that's the goal is like try to be to for everyone mm -hmm. with like a wider spread audience type yeah. of uh, you know appeal. Yeah. Um. So that happened, and then I dropped this other song called Sriracha, and then I dropped this other song called Bad I like Boy, that one as well. and then I dropped uh, Whip a Tesla. So all, all within like a six month period, I dropped like some of my biggest music, and yeah. they all they hit all did on well. TikTok. They all did well. Uh, I mean, Whip It Tesla didn't hit on TikTok, like, same as Sriracha, but they just, like, quote, good songs. So I dropped all this good music, and then, la, 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 I remember, typically, I'd drop a song, it would do, like, 25K first day. This song did 84,000. So I was like, okay, crazy. And then the next day, I did, like, 120. And I was like, whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, whoa. And at that, time, at that time, that's $450, $400, $600 a day. And, like, I'm looking at that shit, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to be rich. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then it just went from, like, 250 to, like, 350 And then I had tons of TikTokers DMing me, being like, bro, your song is going ape shit on TikTok. Like, yeah. like ape shit. And I'm like, all right, cool. And, uh, you no, know. No, you were not like, all right, cool. You were like, yeah! <laughs> no, I, but, like, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. really what it meant because yeah. at that time, TikTok was super, super fresh. Yeah. And, you know, it ended up doing, like, it was doing like 1.6 a day. Your your what happened to you on TikTok happened to a lot of other happened to gravy this year as well. Happened to gravy this year, but what happened to you on TikTok pretty much is now a business model for yeah. the record yeah. labels. Like they will go to TikTokers. We've had uh, Bryce Hall on here before, uh, and and he straight up told us on the on another episode of Fear and where uh, he was like, yeah, record labels come to us and they say like you know. 20 grand to just dance to make a dance for this fucking TikTok yeah. or to just have our song have this song that's coming out and these are songs that like you know multiple platinum uh owning like artists are are putting yeah. out there it's not like some random up and comer record labels are using TikTok's algorithm to juice their top performers I mean yeah it's just kind of like any format any medium right it's just yeah. like it's just a, another way of marketing but there is something on TikTok that is a little bit different and that is that uh, that algorithm is crack when it when it hits dude it's yeah. it's it's fuego yeah. I mean, it's the bank an real nice hour and 20 long interpretive dance for Taylor Swift's new album for my TikTok and I'm getting that, dude that. you should you should listen you should sit in front of the camera and listen to Taylor Swift's album on repeat until you pass out <laughs> that shit it's will actually, go viral on live that shit yeah, will go 100%. viral I will get and do the, do the gritty the whole time too. <laughs> <laughs> or do the bloody doing, doing the doing the gritty until Taylor Swift notices me yeah yeah <laughs>
Taylor Swift immediately notices three minutes in. Stop. Stop right now. <laughs> DMCA'd. Yeah. Um, that is actually cool. I, okay. Um, well, let's move on to the paywall portion of this bar Absolutely. broadcast right now. Where we eat burritos. Where we eat burritos yeah. and we have sexy conversations. We get a little naked. Can you what do the gritty? Do you, I can do the gritty. I can't do can the luddy. Can you teach Hassan to do the gritty? We'll, we'll do that in the paywall portion. <laughs> what, what do you want to tell the cameras, uh, what, the people that are watching the free episode? Uh, where can people find you? What do you want? What's coming up right now for you? Uh, I just dropped an album going on tour with Young Gravy in North America. I would say buy tickets, but most of it sold out, which is dope. Oh, Damn. Yeah. Okay, it's, you're raising the audience it's, you, right it's, it's funny. We, we announced <laughs> Tara Reid and Freddie Dredd on a bunch of shows. And they're super sick, but we announced them late and like none of their fans can buy tickets because the shit's just sold out. And I was I, like, we kind of did them dirty, but like they'll still have a good time. I like, fucking love Freddie Dread. Dude, yeah, he's fire. I fucking adore He's yeah. hilarious. Shit. He's hilarious. I can vouch dude. for this. Yeah, Freddie's sick. Come to the show. You guys are all invited. Well, it's sold out. Well, no, not, not when for, it's not not when you're famous. <laughs> not yeah, when, you, not when you got not when you get a million dollars from Batman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not get that from Batman. <laughs> oh man! All right, well, we're gonna talk more about that on the paywall side. If you want to check that out, please go to Patreon.com/slash Fear and, um, and yeah, that's yep. it. Peace out. If someone had wrote a song like Layla about me. And I'm in my Prius, and you go, hey, put it on. The song's about me. You don't think that makes the seat a little bit slip and slide? That, that Prius is officially now like a <laughs> Ventador. It's the, yeah. fuck, it's the fuck zone. <laughs> Who got to show me your Bugatti? Yeah. That's that shit? Bugatti. 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 Yeah. Nice. I drive a Bugatti. Top G. That shit is so dumb. Prius, but now well, it's a Bugatti. What happened to him now? I haven't seen him. He converted to Islam, actually. He found the light of Allah, and he said the Shahada, and now... That's not a good look for Islam. <laughs> uh, wrong. Islam, Islam is took going to, an L right there. Islam is going to cleanse him of his uh, mischievous, uh, devious ways.